have already been saved from a cave where they've been stranded for more than two weeks. Four boys and their soccer coach remain inside. The only way out, a two and a half mile path filled with murky water and tight passages where the boys and their divers have to be separated for periods of time. So take a look at this from USA Today. It shows what the kids are wearing to swim out. A diving helmet, boots, and a mask while they're tied to a diver ahead of them. And oxygen tanks have been placed along that route for emergencies. Now, here's how this dangerous rescue mission works. Each of the boys is wearing a dive mask as they enter the murky water. Now, the children can barely see anything in front of them. They're led by a diver who's carrying their oxygen tank and is guided by a rope. Another diver follows them from behind. The entire journey covers about two and a half miles through both deep water and steep climbs. Now, the biggest concern is a pinch point in that cave that's just 15 inches across. You see it there. In that area, the boys have to separate from the divers in order to fit through and reach a small patch of dry land before going back down into the water. Now, cave diving is a lot different than scuba diving. We talked to a cave diving expert about what skills rescuers need to get those kids out safe. These kids have to be terrified, you know. Um, no, number one, some of them, I, I'm told, were not even swimmers. But that could be compensated with, uh, as long as they can remain calm, I have to be able to get out of that cave. So cave divers carry redundant scuba, multiple dive bottles, multiple reg regulators, the device we breathe from, backup masks, uh, any possible gear that could fail. For example, dive lights are probably our most unreliable piece of equipment. We each carry three dive lights. And you can hear more of that interview tonight on the news at 11. Now, a lot of people are worried because of the monsoon there that the cave would flood even more, meaning a much more dangerous situation. We've also been wondering what monsoon means for places like Thailand. Here's Topper to explain. 